Australia against Lamb. That's quite a rare contest going on. Edwards going in to get it out himself. Quickly taken, the penalty given. Darren Edwards to Paramore. This is a great breakout again with Rudy Strowley up to the Newcastle 22. Edwards flipping it out. Oh, what a lovely pass and a wonderful change of direction by Whetstone. This is a marvellous try by Bedford under the post. Absolutely brilliant and instinctive. Well, brilliantly set up, wasn't it, Turner? Then uh, this start. Strowley, the setup. Whetstone, wonderful angle he took up. Just left Newcastle for dead. Whetstone with 10 tries this season, and it's a lead of 22, now 24 points to six as Rea adds the points. And is this to be one of the great upsets? Frank Warren, who's uh, one of the great financial supporters of this club. Andrew, Twigamala. Again, the Bedford defence splendid. Whetstone it was with the tackle. McCurry now trying to hold up the avalanche. Newcastle within five metres. They have it, Armstrong, knock on, but the referee had already been playing advantage. And there's an injury on the far side, which uh, we think may well have been a, a punch from Popplewell. It's a yellow card. Now, we can see it again here. What, there's the number four, Murray. And there's Popplewell. Well, what do you have to do to be sent off if not that? That is ridiculous. Bedford ball, then. Strowley. Bounced off Armstrong on that reverse pass. It's taken by Hewitt. Paramore. Outstanding performance. Edwards, this time it's Matt Deans, Edwards, awkward bounce but uh, McCurry who takes it, Paul Turner, no way out of that one, held by Twigamala, Paramore, long feed to a fire, it's a beautiful pass from Paramore, what vision, now it's a race with a fire bearing down on Armstrong, Armstrong with a bit of time, but dispatched in no uncertain fashion by the former rugby league man. Well, what's the uh, use of good vision by Paramore there? Setting up a real chance with a fire and Bedford are back deep inside the Newcastle 22. Norman Hadley. Remember, no Scott Murray, so Hadley's got uh, more important duties and the pack are driving on. It's there for the line and the try is given to Bedford. Bedford score. Got it. And it looks as though it may be Clem Boyd, is it? The prop forward is receiving the plaudits. Clem Boyd, the 23-year-old, the former man from Curry, may have scored the try. That finishes off Newcastle in this contest. Great forward play. Norman Hadley's line-out was the key thing. Up he goes, 20 stone of him reaching to the skies. And once more, it was that superb drilling of the pack. The drive on, and then pushing the prop to the line. Referee Lander on hand to award it. Turner into help. Probing. How does he do it? 41 he'll be on the 27th of this month. The man who made his international debut at 31. 
going on to win 37 England caps. And disturbingly, I hear from the dressing room that Scott Murray, the man who was punched by Popplewell, has got to go to hospital for bleeding behind his eye. So, it's uh, very disconcerting. Twingamala, meanwhile, has broken clear the fire there, but on handed support is Alan Tate, Newcastle's first try. Alan Tate had a wonderful season, a remarkable record to Scotland Colours after nine years, formerly of Wittners and Leeds. He's pulled one back for Newcastle with 18 minutes to go. 29 points to 14. And still time, of course, for Newcastle. Eventually, the defence outgunned. Wonderful tackle from a fire, but he had the alertness to see the man on hand, which was Alan Tate. Two more points from Andrew. And Newcastle are within 13 points now. And plenty of time in which to overhaul Bedford if they can. Armstrong takes. Bedford let him run. It could be on out wide. It's not such a good pass for once. Childs. Just short of the, co short of the corner. Bedford scurry across, Newcastle drive on. Looking for that try, it's with Doddy Weir. Short of the line still. Ball is there, it's a fair challenge. Out it comes, over the head, but it goes safely to Ingamala. Could be three to two. Offside in front of the post. To Ingamala, can they hold him up? 17 stone of him on the post. The referee says he's held up. Brief remonstration by the players. Try not given. And slight concern we hear too over Tony Underwood, who's uh, gone to hospital for attention. <laughs> Pat Lamb through and round behind the post with three minutes and a bit to go. Pat Lamb. Actually uh, landing an arm on uh, Paul Turner, but the referee saw it and said it was uh, not an intentional hit or anything like that. Pat Lamb with the score, and that keeps Newcastle still within sight of turning this one over. 29 points to 21. Rob Andrew gets the two points. Remember, it was a margin of 13, so Newcastle can now look to a converted try to still win this game. Junior Paramore, brilliant he's been. Absolutely brilliant. Edwards, this is Turner. Dummies to Dean's Turner. With a minute and injury time to go. And still it's Bedford retaining possession. That's all they need to do, really. It's with uh, Turner again. Edwards, reverse pass, little flick to Turner, still held on, that's McCurry, still Bedford, renewed effort here, Deans, pounding away at the Newcastle defence, it's Newcastle this time with magnificent defence, Turner trying to burrow underneath, Newcastle bury him, the last half minute and injury time. Ball is there. Possession everything at this stage. It's with Bedford. Darren Edwards goes himself. Looks for the forward support. It comes again. Lovely move. A fire. That settles it. Martin a fire. In seventh heaven. He kicks the hoardings. He doesn't know what to do. Such is the excitement. Bedford at the last secure the victory and here is a fire tackled by Armstrong but as in his career of 400 tries in rugby league so never more important in rugby union than this one well Mike Rea missed the conversion this was very much a consolation try for Newcastle in the dying seconds, scored by uh, Scotland A prop forward George Graham. 
But I suppose their afternoon was summed up by what happened at the end here. Because Mr. Reliable Rob Andrew with the conversion, meaningless in a sense, put it astray. And a historic victory for Bedford. Martin O'Fire delighted, Frank Warren even more so. And uh, Paul Turner as well, vindicated for the way that he tries to play the game.